What's up, YouTube? It's Jacob from Always Fresh Apparel, and today we have the Karma Loop haul for July 2014. Now, so for this video, as you guys can tell, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven items for you guys. Um, it's really four shirts, two shoes, and one accessory. I wanted to keep it pretty, pretty basic and just kind of stick to the essentials. I mean, you guys know that. I'm all about the essentials. As you guys know, my style has kind of changed throughout the months and throughout the years that you guys have been watching me. Um, I really used to focus a lot on loud stuff. Now I'm really focusing a lot on just things that I know I can wear to different situations and they would work in any situation, if that kind of makes sense to you guys. So like say, you know, I get a Wang t-shirt and I can, I can wear that when I'm out shopping, but I can also wear that to a fashion event. So it's really, really versatile. So as you guys know, I'm getting into the essentials. That was a really long description for essentials, but so I got four tees, two shoes, and a watch for you guys today. Before we get into this video, I got two things. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you guys are feeling the video. And second of all, use my rep code DOPE33 on Karma Loop and Plunder to get you discounts on the site. You guys already know it, it's the code. I've been shouting it out for two and a half years now. Um, if it's not ingrained in your memory by now, I don't know what is. So DOPE33 on Karma Loop and Plunder, it'll get you some discounts. So let's get into the watch right here. It's a watch model that you've already seen before but not a colorway that you've seen from me before so let's get into it i had to get a little up close action so you guys could see the watch itself so here you guys go we have the nixon time teller in all all black now if you guys know i do wear the gold a lot so let me one second let me go grab the gold i do wear the gold a lot to the point where it's like starting to kind of break down a little bit like some of the gold's rubbing off right there um and i'm just getting a lot and lot of wear out of it so i decided why not have this since i wear it so much and then just get the all black colorway so that's what i did right here all black this is a 95 dollars watch from nixon it is called the time teller um really really basic as you guys know i don't really have to do much describing but i wear it on the daily so i'm gonna get this size to my wrist and you guys will see it a lot so here you guys go the nixon time teller 95 bucks on Karma loop link in the description all right you guys next up we have the black and white stripe tee from a brand called accomplice I know if you guys have been sticking with the channel, you know the brand Accomplice, but they put out this black and white striped tee. So let's throw it on so you guys can see how it fits. All right, you guys, so here you go. Here is how that Accomplice tee fits. It fits amazing. So amazing that before I uploaded this video, I went and purchased another one so that they didn't sell out on Karma Loop before you guys went and purchased. Because I love the way this thing fits and I really, really, really want to make it a staple in my wardrobe. It has a white crew neck neck, as you guys can tell, and the neck fits what? It fits buttery. There is like no spaces in between like the sides of my neck. It's like one of the best fitting necks I've ever dealt with on a tee, ever. Black and white stripes go across the body. Sleeves are a little bit longer, so what I did is I rolled them up twice to get a little more of a tapered look on the arm. As you guys can tell, that's usually what I do on my t-shirts where the sleeves are a little bit longer. It actually does come to a U-cut hem. I'm gonna try to see if I can, there you guys go, right there. It does come to a U-cut at the bottom, so it is slightly elongated, which is really nice. Haven't really ever seen a black and white striped tee that is a little bit elongated and comes to a U at the bottom. And that's what sold me on this t-shirt. Size large fits me buttery. Recommend going your true size. So accomplice black and white striped tee. All right, you guys, next up, we have the black scale band religion t-shirt in white. All white cut and sew with the religious print cut and sew in the middle and then cut and sew on the back as well. Let's throw it on so you guys can see how it fits. All right, you guys, here you go. Here is how that black scale band religion t-shirt fits. Again, this is a size large. I would recommend maybe, maybe going up because sometimes in cut and sew for black scale, it's a little slim. So this is a size large and it fits me pretty, pretty true to size. Again, same with that accomplice tee. This one comes to a U-cut at the bottom as well, as you guys can tell right here, with that Bam Religion print on the back in a U-cut as well. Uh, this one does not go as long as the accomplice, but it still is a slight oversized length. I did give this one, again, a two roll up on the sleeves to get a little more of a tapered look. Here you guys go with the Band Religion tee from Black Scale in white. Love this tee. You know it would not be a car move, Paul, if I didn't get two more items from Black Scale. So next up, we have the Black Scale Fame panel top in olive. So I have both of them actually. So here is the black and white version and here is the olive version. I will try both of them on so you guys can see. But basically it is just a all over patchwork t-shirt. And this one is the olive. This one is the black with hits of gray and marble speckles. So let's throw it on so you guys can see how it fits. All right, so here you guys go. Here is how that black scale fame t-shirt fits in olive. 
Um, I know on the last black scale tee, I said I went to a large. This one I went to a large as well, but I almost wish I went to a medium. As you guys can tell, it does have a pretty loose, relaxed, oversized baggy fit, although the neck does fit great on a large. I just maybe wish I would have went down to a medium, so it was just a little... Oh, I hit that. Uh, as you guys can tell, it's a little wide. I just wish I maybe would have went down so it was a little more slimming. Nonetheless, an amazing t-shirt, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. Patchwork tees is something that I've been eyeing for a while. Um, I actually bought that Billionaire Boys Club one like six months ago. Too colorful, never wore it. So this is a much more of a subtle patchwork, so I'm happy to have it in my collection. Let's show you how the black one fits right now. Black one fits literally exactly the same, but I definitely wanted to show you guys what it looked like on, because sometimes when you just see it hanging, it doesn't look the same as when it looks on a person. So here's how the colors pop. You guys can see how it drapes, how it fits. This is a size large again. Definitely it's kind of like an extended length. It goes pretty long. Goes to about, man, I would say halfway between my, uh, my waist and my knee. So that is a slight oversized length. And here you guys go. Here is the black version of that fane tee. Now let's get on to the two pairs of kicks that I have for you guys today. Really loving these kicks. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. First up for the sneakers, we have the Adidas SL Loop running sneaker in onyx and white. Now, I was eyeing these sneakers in New York. I went to the Adidas store down on Broadway in Soho. And I looked at these and I thought, man, they're pretty dope. But I didn't really see a colorway that I really was, you know, like just crazy about until I saw these babies on Karma Loop. I really, really love the light gray tone um, that it gives off for the sneaker. Um, favorite parts about the sneaker, because I really, you guys know, I'm not like a sneakerhead. I don't know terminology. I just know what looks good. Um, favorite part about the sneaker is the the suede around the toe box. This suede is is really, really nice, as you guys can tell right here. Really nice suede. Second favorite part is the outsole. Look at that baby. That outsole is crazy. I love the uh, the pattern texture on the outsole, although no one's going to see it unless they're behind you and you're like walking and you're going like that. Um, nonetheless, it's an amazing silhouette. Again, for sizing purposes, I want a half a size up. Um, so these are a nine and a half and they fit me pretty true to size. Um, if you kind of are on the fence, I would definitely recommend going a half size up. Um, I could probably get away with my true size of a nine, but I just like for like slimmer silhouettes and um, running sneakers like this, I usually like to go a half a size up because of how slimming it is. Um, so I usually like to go half a size up just because of that. So let's throw it on feet so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm just going to throw it on with shorts because it is summer right now. But this definitely would pair well with some joggers as well. So let's throw these on feet and I'll give you guys a look. All right, you guys, next up, we are going completely back to basics. This is something that I know is in a lot of people's wardrobes. I have four versions of this model already, not the most basic colorway in the world. So here you guys go, I finally added it to my collection. We have the Van Skate High in black and white. That is it, that's the entire sneaker. It's just a Van Skate High classic in black and white. So the thing that, I mean, you guys don't really need me to re review a, a Van Skate High. You guys can, I tied these. I'm going to untie them real quick. Hold on. You guys should already know about Van Skate Highs. They're pretty, pretty uh, popular in today's world. But I just wanted to get you guys a silhouette. Man, that is an amazing silhouette. Uh, it almost is like a, it looks like a Balenciaga uh, high top, if you guys have ever seen those. Um, it's the same silhouette, but, you know, for a much, much cheaper price point. Um, I've been debating. Um, I just threw in these black laces, and I kind of almost like the way the black laces give it um, more of a darker uh, silhouette and darker tone. So if you guys do want to switch it up, I would maybe recommend throwing in black laces because it does give it that nice extra flair. And then the classic white laces right here. I just think the white laces is a little kiddish for some reason. When I look at it like this, it just doesn't look the best. I don't know. I really like the way the black laces just kind of keep it an all black sneaker with hits of white rather than a mixture like a 50-50 black and white. So that's just my viewpoint on it. These run half the size big in my opinion. So eight and a half is what I got in these babies. So I would recommend going a half a size down. Let's throw them on feet so you guys can see. I will keep black laces in this one, white laces in that one. Let's do it. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up button and make sure you use the rep code DOPE33. 
Hope I was able to show you guys some essentials that I've been picking up and that I've been wearing. Van Skate High, I haven't gotten any use yet, but I know they will because I've been wearing these ones like crazy. The distressed, overwashed ones right here. So I know that those black ones are going to get some wear. Um, that is all. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Huge shout out to the Karma Loop rep team, Karma Loop, Matt, uh, all the people over there at Karma Loop. They always show me love. You guys as well. Appreciate everything you guys do for me. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Dope33 is the rep code. And remember to stay fresh, my friends.